A crash that shut down the northbound side of I-95 for hours takes a tragic turn. Yeah, you know, state police now confirming today a man in his 50s was killed. NBC 10's Gabrielle Cracciolo is live outside the Hope Valley State Police Barracks in Richmond with some new details on this accident. Gabrielle? Well, right now, state police are not identifying that 51 year old victim, only saying that it's a man from Providence. They say he was in a car that was being towed by an SUV at the time of the crash using only some tie down straps. We're still trying to get a grasp of what's going on. Just before seven Sunday night, a deadly crash on 95 North in Exeter. Police say a family from Providence was using a Toyota Highlander to tow a Honda Accord that had broken down on the side of 95. According to police, a teenager was driving the lead vehicle with a woman in the passenger seat. A 51-year-old man was in the car behind them that they were trying to tow. State police say they were only using nylon ratchet straps and didn't have proper safety lights on the disabled car. We're told they just pulled out of the breakdown lane and were driving slowly in the right lane of traffic when an attenuator truck crashed into them. That's one of those trucks usually seen in construction zones, used to act as a cushion in case of a crash. Responding 95 northbound before exit 14. Reporting a motor vehicle accident. The three people in the two cars were taken to the hospital where the man in his 50s died. The teenager and woman were hurt but are expected to be okay. Now, police say the driver of that truck was cooperating. They don't anticipate filing any charges, but they are asking anyone who may have seen this crash to give them a call. Live in Richmond, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.